Hey YouTube, Peterbilt Knife Guy. Today we're gonna be starting a new series that I'm gonna do on my channel that I'm gonna call, Let's Sharpen a Knife. And when I say let's sharpen a knife, we're not gonna be using your standard stones or my guided system or standard sharpening stuff. We're gonna be trying to sharpen a knife on household items. Um, for instance, today, we're gonna use a coffee mug. We're gonna try to sharpen a knife with a coffee mug and uh, we're gonna maybe try a brick, we're gonna try all kinds of stuff. And then I'll take comments too, you know, if somebody wants to see me try to sharpen something on something, uh, we can do that, you know, unless the comments stupid like, ooh, sharpen it on a stick of butter. <laughs> well, obviously it ain't gonna happen. So, what we're gonna try today is, we have this Svord Kiwi. Now this is carbon steel. And it is sharp. I don't know how sharp, but yeah, it's sharp. And uh, we're gonna knock the edge off of it and try to resharpen it on a coffee mug. And you know, just for instance, we'll probably just use the same knife for every video. That way it kind of stays consistent and see what we can resharpen it on. And if you guys have any, uh, like I said, any requests, you know, of something household related that could possibly be used to sharpen yeah we'll go that route but first to get into this we got to dole this guy we could just dole it on this huh yeah screw it let's dole it on this let's see she's dull now <laughs> It just kind of pushes through. You can tell it ain't sharp when it's doing that. But basically when we bring it back to sharpness, we just kind of want to sharpen it. You know, obviously, depending on what you're using a brick to sharpen a knife, you're, you're not going to get a, uh, you're not going to be cutting S's and paper towels with a brick. But let's try to just bring this back to a working sharpness. You know, slicing paper, is probably the best we're gonna be able to get with it. Maybe pulling hair, probably with the ceramic of a, like this, it, it might might probably shave, but let's find out. And I'm gonna use a little water. But anyways, I'm gonna change the camera up. We'll get started. All right, so I brought it down to an area where, where I can comfortably do this. And you know what? I'm gonna wet this. You don't probably have to wet it, but I'm gonna wet it, because why not? And let's see if we can just get her back. <clears throat> kind of just want to establish an edge bevel. And you know, there's a thousand ways to sharpen things. And just because you do it one way and somebody else does it different does not mean it's the right way. I don't care what grandpa did or this sharpening channel does or that sharpening channel does. Everybody has their own way. And you know what? If it works for you, it works for you. I don't know what edge angle I'm using. I'm just going to use an angle that I know will cut paper towel. Or not paper towel. <laughs> uh, paper. Just trying to rehone this. You can see I still got some uh, some glinty spots right there. So and you can see how it's darkening up. That's metal being taken off. Ooh, another one's a good one too. You can use the uh, your window on a uh, on a vehicle. Not in camera, sorry. Sorry, keep going out of camera. Let's see if we'll cut a piece of paper yet. Doesn't feel that sharp. Not yet, not even close. 
Let's see, let's bring it. Maybe the angle needs to be steeper. <clears throat> not quite not even close build the shit out of this thing I can tell you right now that the ceramic on this cup is not good for re-establishing a be edge bevel again. So if your knife is really jacked up, it's gonna have a hard time establishing that be edge bevel because it's just not, the grit on this is, it's very, very small. Still shit. Getting better. But still, still shit. Alright, let's keep going. Getting better, but ain't there yet. Let's see what happens if we strop it. Because if you could find a coffee mug, you could probably find a leather of some sort on a boot, on a couch, a bag, something. If you were, uh, if you were in desperate need enough to use a cup, you probably desperate need to use a uh, some kind of uh, strop that's not just a standard strop. But there's no compound on here. It's just a piece of leather. Let's see if that helps at all. <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit better. Hmm. Let's keep going. Back to strop. So we can get it to cut paper. <clears throat> there we go. That's better. Now, this might be the best edge that we can get on here. But yeah, she won't cut hair. I started to pull a little bit. I don't know. Let's keep working it. See what happens. Can we make it work? Hmm. So, <clears throat> you know, if we keep going, we could probably, you know, we're starting to pull hair a little bit. So, we could probably keep going. But uh, for video's sake, I'm going to say it's better than it was. And it is possible. It just depends on how much time you want to spend 
But I mean, imagine other than the what was this, 13 minutes it took me to hold do this whole video so far. Um, I'd say it's not too bad. What if you had some green compound? Will it make it better? Only slightly better. But there you go. Can you can you sharpen a knife with a coffee mug? I'm gonna say it's possible, but it's gonna be time consuming. You're gonna have a hard time laying on a new edge bevel. And uh, anyways, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching.